हेलो हेलो So, so good morning everyone. Uh, so my name is Kamalesh. I am from Pantex Solution. I am a senior software engineer. So today I am going to take a webinar on machine learning using Python. Okay, so before going to uh, webinar session, I like to give thanks to SEAS Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad, organized by a uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Uh, about SEAS College, it was established in 2011 with 4G, with 4 uh, UG courses like CSE, C ECE, MEC, and CIVIL. Uh, and four PG courses. Okay, so it's affiliated by two JNTU Telangana State. Okay, so Sriyas Institute is located in heart of the city uh, at Nagul, the most happening area in the Hyderabad. So about Sriyas, uh, about Sriyas College. Uh, they have placement of academic year in 2019 and 2020. They have uh, 400 plus placement in 2020 batches from the of per annum 3.6 lakh to uh, maximum package of per annum 12.40. So more than 400 plus students are placed. Uh, and then there are companies like Tata, Topper, Bychest and extra mark called CTS. So they have a nice placement, uh, mostly more than 2020 batch itself, the 400 plus students means uh, it's nice uh, placement. Uh, and then I have to thankful to CSE Hachodi, uh, Sahakik Abdul Nabi, he's a working professor, professor and head of the department of CSE slash Institute of Engineering Technology, Hyderabad. So about uh, Dr. Sahagik Abdul Nabi, uh, he is a graduate in BE Computer Science Engineering in MJZ and by Bajran Osmania University, Hyderabad. He completed a M.Tech from JNTU Hyderabad and he received a doctor philosophy that is PhD in area of web mining from Acharya. Nagarjuna University, Guntur. 
AIP and India. And I have to tank, give thankful to special thankful to coordinator Mr. K. Rohit Kumar. Uh, he has uh, PhD computer persons like uh, B.Tech computer science engineering in uh, like B.Tech computer science in 2012 and master degree in software engineer in 2015 and PhD in computer science engineering uh, and doc from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam University Indo. Okay, so I like to give special thankful. Uh, for this giving this golden op opportunity from for uh, Pantech solution uh, and uh, special thanks to Sriyas Institute of Engineering and Technology. So we would like to thankful to Pantech solution for sharing their views on machine learning using Python. It's a great opportunity to student to learn the technology and implement a process of it. Thankful to the management, faculty members and also participants making even grand success. So this is this is the greeting from Sriyas Institute. As a Pantech Solution employee, we also give a thankful to Sriyas Institute, Institute of Engineering for this golden opportunity. Thank you, Ananda. So next, I will be move on to webinar session. So today we are conduct a webinar on machine learning using Python. So before we are going to machine learning. Uh, section so we have to know some introduction about machine learning then only we will understand the about how it's working how we need to train the machine learning and how and how we need to test the machine learning and all okay so i will give some introduction to you machine learning and then i will be move on to the technical session okay in that only i will uh, teach you how it's working and how it's uh, training and testing and all okay so these are the table of contents. I will give the first of all introduction to you and then application uh, in what are the domains we are using a machine learning applications and the machine learning types. About types, a uh, lot of videos will be there, but it's something different. Machine learning types and then Python libraries. So, libraries is the important one. Uh, if you want to develop on anything, we need to uh, know about libraries and then process uh, process step by step, by step process in my data set of liver disease using that only i am uh, telling you to how to develop a code and and finally i uh, tell about machine learning algorithms okay so these are the table of contents today section uh, <coughs> first of all i will move on to introduction so cycle or motorcycle like that we can learn by from the past experience okay but here if we comes to machine learning machine learning we need to give some instruction to machine learning you have to do like example if uh, uh, if i give some data some data of fruits uh, like apple orange uh, by like that if i give some fruits they have some attributes that fruits have some attributes like color size shape and all so based on that color size steps want to predict, predict the output so i have to give the some data to the machine that is past experience to machine then machine want to learn past experience then give the prediction result okay so machine learning is different deep learning is different for machine learning it's require minimum uh, data but for deep learning it's record more number of data okay so machine learning is an application of artificial that provides a system the ability of automatically learn and improve the experience so machine learning focus on the development of computer programming okay it should be comes under computer programming why it comes under computer program means if you move on to uh, some traditional program example like C, C++ or Java we need to give the uh, data and rules for example x equal to 1, x equal to 2 we are giving some data and we are giving the rules based on that rules our traditional programming will give the output what is the output of x, what y but here if you uh, in other hand if you see the machine learning means it's a totally different why means here we are giving a data plus answers also okay so here in traditional programming programming we are giving a data and rule but here i am giving it with output result okay so for example you want to know 
uh, one real time example like if you want to write a code for java uh, sorry if you want to write a code for addition or subtraction or multiplication we can easily write the code for both python also java also for that we can easily write the code but if you want i have i am telling you to write the code for whether sachin will play cricket or not okay i am telling this write a code for this so how we can do we can't write that the sachin will be play cricket or not so for at the time here i am using machine learning okay so machine learning i will give the past during uh, of like uh, some of players and some of the outputs i will give to the machine learning and machine will be give the whether the sachin will be play the cricket or not okay so it's a basic difference between our traditional programming and machine learning okay so next terminology terminology is nothing but they got three terminology basically if you take whatever machine learning uh, whatever uh, machine learning program you are taking that's it, that they have basic terminology like data set futures and models okay data set is nothing but uh, program we are using for example we are you want to analyze the sentiment analysis we have to use you have to download the data set of twitter set but you have to uh, use nlp for that okay like that what type of data set you want to develop a program you have to download the data set is important for machine learning then futures so we need to find the important futures so if you take an data set they have more number of futures but i need some important future for example if you take on uh, like to, today we are going to see about liver disease analysis so in that liver if i take means they can have any unwanted column is that means i need to delete that unwanted column so i need some important futures okay because in selecting a important future is important in machine learning when we compare to deep learning deep learning will be learned by without future but learned by with futures only so we selecting the future is important then model what type of model okay so whether it is a classification whether it is a prediction uh, association so based on that type of data set we have different type of algorithm okay so we have to select then only it will be give the result or prediction result is easy then applications so application is nothing but uh, uh, in real time where we are using the applications so like real life application machine learning is netflix okay so netflix movie recommendation uh, most of you know about youtube also without subscription subscription of that channel you will be get a uh, videos how they are getting the videos based on you are watching history and then hashtags so hashtag is nowadays important based on the hashtags it will be give the some results okay and then facebook so about facebook uh, everybody know about this auto friend tagging okay if you take a group photos uh, you will be get a automatically friend tagging uh, you have to you have to tag this person or you have to tag that person like that it automatically gives a suggestion about facebook not only for tagging in facebook uh, if based on your relation also uh, they will use they will gain their uh, more monies they will earn monies based on your relationship status okay so for example if i put a relationship status in my facebook account single like that means uh, based on that single i will be get the ad okay so uh, this bike for example i am a single person means i have to love to uh, buy a bike or buy a car like that i have to love so based on that you will be get a ad in your facebook status or anywhere if you change the relationship status into an married so you will be get the ad ad like a, uh, here the problem you can uh, buy this house this one is a nice property like that property wise some uh, ads will be come so this also one type of machine learning only okay so machine learning will be used each and everywhere so paper so you already know about this paypal and uh, like uh, upa transactions in that also you are using payment and then uh, uber amazon fifa world cups uh, and then uber base <coughs> so these are the amazon uber and all real time applications then types of machine learning so typing is uh, we have totally three types in this three type 
supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. So supervised learning is we have some input and output data. Okay. So if you take any data set of supervised learning, we have a input and output. But if you take any data of unsupervised data, we have just a unstructured. Okay. That is called unsupervised data. The basic difference between supervised and unsupervised is they have a input and output in supervised, but in unsupervised they have only a input. Okay. So if you comes to reinforcement learning, learning the totally different of reinforcement learning. Totally, it's a different. Why means it will be learned from credit 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 of the point. Like for example, uh, uh, when when we develop one uh, like a game. Okay. So based on that, uh, you are coin gaining and then you are jumping. Uh, you are skipping some. Uh, obstacles uh, uh, in front of you like that if you do anything means based on that it will be given, it will be learned from uh, past experience okay so that's a reinforcement learning okay so supervised learning is nothing but we have a labeled data labeled or class or target anything okay we have a output in that uh, data set that is supervised learning Okay, so he see here. I have a simple example for supervised learning. For example, I have a known data that is apple, and then known response. These are the apple. So I have a data, and I have a. The, I I am telling to the machine these are the apple. Okay, I am giving the data to the machine. The machine these are apple. Okay, so when I giving when I give the machine to the new apple, then it will be give the prediction. It's a apple like that. Prediction result as a it's a apple. Okay, so that comes under unsupervised learning. Sorry, but if you take a supervised learning, we get one is classification, another one is regression. Okay, so classification simply you want to tell means it's a good or bad, true or zero or one. Okay, so it classify according to the uh, two or three. Kind okay, so good or bad, which side is our input data okay, so that is the classification. But if you move on to regression type, it's totally different okay. So, real time you want to take a regression type means like we need to predict our BMI means BMI is based on a height weight okay. So, if I give an height and weight, you will be get an output of BMI value. That BMI will be value should be in the form of 99.7 or 99.8. But for each and every person, definitely it will be changed. Okay, so that is called regression model. Okay, and predict whether it's a true or false. It will be uh, having a continuous values. Okay, that is a regression type of algorithms. Okay, then unsupervised learning. So unsupervised learning means we don't have any labeled data. We have only an uh, data whether it should be an unstructured or structure okay so see here I have a simple example that is unlabeled data okay so here I am having a some data like circle square triangle like that but I didn't tell to machine it is a circle it is a square it is a triangle directly giving only a data based on that attributes Okay, it will be divide the data into the three clusters. Okay, so it's a circle, it's a uh, square, it's a triangle. Okay, so like that, it will be changed uh, automatically. It will be learned from the uh, futures, future values. Okay, so that is unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, we got only two types. That is clustering and association. Okay, so clustering is nothing but, uh, for example, we can take a real time. Uh, COVID-19 okay data okay so for example I want to predict uh, COVID, uh, in which area it will it's, it will be in a, uh, most spreading area which area it will it should be in a not a spreading area like that I want to uh, predict one graph means I will use this clustering type of learning okay I can divide the uh, area like green blue red like that okay otherwise if you want to predict which area uh, you should be in only in a green uh, not spreading area I need to see that area means you can use this clustering type of the algorithm we can predict the output 
okay but totally association means totally different okay so normally uh, for example you can see the example here in slide customer one uh, buying some uh, bread milk one second Sorry for the okay. So customer one buying a bread, milk, fruit, wheat like that and customer two buy a bread, milk, rice, butters. Okay. So compared to uh, customer one, customer two, the bread and milk is same. Okay. Then automatically our algorithm will be result uh, when you buy a bread, it will be give the uh, suggestions you have to buy a milk like that. Okay. So this is the one type of assessment learning. Okay. So next to reinforcement learning, so it will be aims to maximize according to the rewards. Okay, by playing game or again and again playing games, it based on that it will be learned from reinforcement learning. Okay. So the next one, I will tell you process how machine. So for example, if you have one data set, what you want to do? What are the next step you want to do? Okay, I will tell you. Here I am collecting a data set. After collecting a data set, I am using data pre preparation. Okay, data preparation is nothing but one thing you have to understand about machine learning or deep learning. If you have data set that algorithm want to understand. Okay, so based according to that understanding, you need to change the data. Okay. In aim of uh, both the machine learning and deep learning okay so this is the main aim if you if you have any data you need to uh, algorithm want to understand for that what you have to do that is data preparation okay so like deleting some rows and columns deleting deleting uh, some unwanted uh, values or changing the values into categorical value into an uh, integer value like that i want most data preparation and then i will be move on to next step okay so next step is model fitting after i am in the data i will divide the data set into two type one is trained data another one is test data okay so trained data uh, should be an uh, mostly 80 percentage or 70 percentage test data should be an mostly 20 percentage or 30 percentage why i am giving trained data as a mo uh, mostly 70 or 30 percentage means because algorithm want to understand what we, what type of data we are giving okay so for example if you want to learn uh, any subject you need to uh, thorough that whole book then only you will understand uh, okay this is the what they are telling right to tell you like that like same thing only if you want to uh, if you want to train on algorithm you have to you have to uh, give more number of data then only you will be understand then after that fitting the model i will use some evaluation steps like confusion matrix or prediction value I'll use some evaluation step and then predict the output okay so hyper parameter tuning is nothing but if you if we during a training time if if your data should be in a overfitting or underfitting we need to tune some data some parameter to uh, so it should be an uh, fitting it should be a nice one okay we don't need uh, overfitting and underfitting we need some correct fitting so for that purpose we are using hyper parameter tuning if you are getting a accuracy result lower you have to use hyper parameter tuning okay so libraries of python uh, here i want us numpy matplotlib cborn and sql okay so today's session we are going to uh, use this those libraries only about pandas numpy man probably at the session at the execution time i will tell you okay so these are the data uh, gathering first you have, these are the steps first you have to gather the data set and after that importing the package after that analyzing data analyzing data visualization uh, visualization pre-processing model selection training and testing and evaluation so these are the steps now uh, now i have to do as a real time uh, so up to this machine learning introduction and uh, some uh, algorithm implementation sorry machine learning introduction and all over next i want to move to the next session part that is 
uh, coding part so before we go into coding part i have to tell to you uh, i am taking a data set of liver patient data set okay i am taking a data set of liver uh, who the patient uh, attacked by liver disease and not okay totally i have a liver disease 416 liver patient and 167 non liver patient uh, the data set down, uh, downloaded from Kaggle website so in that we have a 441 male patient records and 442 female patient records okay so this data set will download from Kaggle only uh, if you need means you can search it and you can download so see here this is the screenshot of my data set age gender and some attributes are there and at last i have a target value that is yellow color target value so i already told to you if it is a supervised learning definitely output okay so like same thing only so here i have a futures and based on the future i have a output value okay so for example if it is a first if it is a, if you take a second row for the whole second row i am getting a result target value one so one means here at not attacked person two means the person who attacked by liver disease okay so like that our data set this is the screenshot of our data set okay next i am on to the session of how to read the data set and how to train the algorithm for that purpose i am using a jupyter notebook i am using a jupyter notebook okay so in this i have a data set Indian liver patient. So here I am creating a new Python 3 file. Okay. So here I am using a Jupyter notebook and I am using a data set of liver disease patient data set. okay so first of all uh, i have to uh, tell about what is the main aim of this project so the aim of the project is we need to predict whether predict whether the patient have in our test data have liver disease so not okay so the main aim of the project is predict the whether the patient have liver disease or not okay so first i need some basic library packages like for example uh, pandas pandas as pd so here i am importing as pd import numpy as np import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot that is python plot Pi plot as p and then import sorry import import c bond as sns okay so here i am importing some basic packages so here we have a pandas pandas is nothing but if you want to read the input data uh, it's a data it's also called as a data frame okay so we have a in python we have a data structure data frame and data types okay it's a comes under data frame okay so numpy numpy is nothing but a numerical python numerical python so if you want to create one uh, one dimensional dimensional matrix or any other matrix means you can use numerical python and then matplotlib to plot the graph and then cborn to giving a more representation using cborn so first of all i am running this cell mm, okay so 
so it's still loading uh, if we get a star symbol on the left corner that is that particular cell is running after that if we get a any numerical value the cell is run okay so here i am that here i am creating a def is equal to okay just a warning only not a problem equal to pd dot read underscore csv underscore csv and then i am reading my data set what is my data set data set here in the fashion data set so i am importing that in the new data set your fashion data set okay so here i am calling my pd that is pandas and reading my csv file after reading the csv file uh, in df only my all the csv file will be stored for example data dot head you will be get the data set that is what we are having in here here indian river data set the, so this will be displayed but this will be read by pandas and then we can uh, store it in okay so here is the function it is the function function it is the function to display first file okay Okay, so using that I am displaying the first file. After that, I am using uh, df dot shape. Okay, shape is also one type of keyboard. How many rows and how many columns in my data set? So totally I have reports of person and then level columns. That is age, gender, and all level columns I have totally. Okay. So next one is now I printed the data set. It's reader. Next one, if you want to check the column, C O L U, yeah, column, column, you will be get the column using column keyword. You will be get the how many columns, what are the columns available in your data set, data set. And then next thing is after now, uh, okay, everything. Now, if you want to check the statistic, statistic report of uh, your data set, means you have to use describe. You have to use describe function. Using this function, we can uh, display the how many count value, how many mean value of each and every, and then uh, each and every rows like that. We can display. For example, you can see here. Uh, here I am using a describe function, so I will be get the output of age and then total will rubin like that. We have a alkaline like that. Each and every that is each and every integer value and float value. We are displaying the count value, mean distance, and standard deviation, minimum number of value, 25 percentage like that. We can describe. This is a statistical report of my our data set. Okay, so. If you want to uh, display the type, uh, that is, if you want to display the information of each and every attribute, you can use dot info. Okay, so dot info is the one type of uh, function. Using this function, we can calculate the. Sorry, we can see the uh, what are the types. Yeah, for example, we have a age in our uh, data set. The age is comes under integer type. Okay, we have a gender. It comes under object type, and we have a total millirubin that is float 64 like that we have. Okay, so here I already told to you if you want to train the algorithm, we need some integer type or float type. Then only algorithm will be understand. So, but here you can see I have a object type. So if you see the gender here. Yes, we have a gender in object type male, 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 female. So we need to convert this male and female into uh, zeros and ones. Means we have to use some pre-processing step. Then only it will be uh, we, using the pre-processing step label and coder function. We can convert that female, male into a yeah, zeros and ones. Okay.
so if you want to check even more uh, uh, you can check it in other way also type okay so using def dot that so this also another type we can check it uh, whether in def dot data type df data types equal to equal to i need to display only an object i need to display only an object so see this is the another way another way you can see what are the object away so here also displaying only gender column is the object column okay so using this gender column uh, i want to uh, train the algorithm means if you, if i use this can general column train the algorithm means it won't predict correctly for that purpose i need to convert that gender column into zeros and ones okay so next one uh, it's a important thing because if you we are downloading directly uh, data set from online definitely the column should be an uh, whether it's a null value or not a null value okay so for that if you want to check whether the having a null or uh, we have to check means we have to use df dot is null okay so in the function you have to check whether the funds whether the, our my data set is in the form of null values or not okay so here you can see removes df you can see here so here i am getting that uh, all the values will be false 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 but here you can see 29 is automatically displaying from 543 okay so like this if i check uh, i don't know between these three after 29 i don't know whether they have null values or not okay so for that purpose you can use some function uh, to get the sum value okay sum okay so it will be sum all the attributes age gender up to data set i will get uh, i will be uh, get all the values whether null values or not okay so if you want if you have any null values you have to drop that null values okay so for that purpose you need to uh, do drop function okay df dot drop d uh, drop drop in drop we have four function in we have to use drop na okay so drop na is on on all the function we need drop the whole data okay so if you want to uh, if you want means you can save it in variable okay so here after i am dropping that function i will be save it in df again df variable because it in this particular if i didn't use this variable name okay in this particular cell only it will be take a drop in name but if you out of the cell it will be automatically take, take it as a null values only so for that purpose i am using df dot NA, okay so after i am dropping next i want to uh, move on to some data analysis part that is eda data analysis part okay eda is nothing but uh, it's a type of uh, graphical representation so eda part okay so expert data so here i am using like uh, uh, histogram first of all so histogram is nothing but to plot the all the attributes okay so i am using hist histogram plot and then i am giving a figure size uh, figure size equal to 15 uh, comma 15 okay so 15 comma 15 and then i am giving a x root okay x root is equal to 45 okay sector is equal to 45 means uh, based on that uh, it's display the labels okay rotator by 45 degree okay that is the use of x dot okay x dot minus 45 degree okay then after that bins bins is nothing but uh, uh, what is that bins is nothing but uh, it's a peak uh, if you take on bar graph they have some uh, peaks okay like spikes you have to give the size of that spike okay then i am displaying then after that i am showing showing that histogram using plot so plt here what is the 
uh, matplotlib okay using matplotlib i am showing the plot okay okay stop here okay so uh, so but it's having some boolean type errors i think uh, uh, okay so it's not imported correctly i have to import okay skier uh, Okay, it's showing, but it's something. The problem with the uh, what is that packages? So here you can see the age, uh, Almania, and Albinium. So like that, we can see the output graph. And then we next we move on to uh, what is that? Okay, C one, C one SNS dot. i remove that graph because it's some package problem is there so i'm using count plot i am displaying the overall x equal to uh, i'm here i'm giving data set so data set is nothing but data set is nothing but uh, my output value see here this value data set is nothing but my output value so data set comma data equal to df okay so here i am plotting the graph only data set this one is okay okay better i will go to this one so something problem is the right angle so here you can see i am getting a expiry data analysis so we can display uh, like uh, each and every attributes we can display like this like figure size and age and armena like that okay so then after that i am using sns count plot i am displaying a data set that is data set is nothing but uh, my output value see here my output value data set so based on that data set i am calling the data set and df equal to df okay so data set equal to df means i will be get the output of that uh, how many attacked person and how many not attacked person okay so here totally i have attacked person 400 and not attacked person totally i have an 150 okay so these are the uh, attacked person and not attacked person okay so after that i am displaying same count plot Yes, and as using yes, and as I am displaying the same count plot. Uh, I am displaying here gender means male and female, and then data is equal to df. Okay, so here you can see I am getting an output of female. So female should be in more than hundred, and male is more than uh, what is that? More than four hundred. Okay, more than four hundred data we have. So this is the count plot for gender. Okay, so count plot is nothing but Uh, if you want to uh, add, if you want to see the uh, types of clusters in your particular column, you have to use a count plot. Okay. So if you want to see uh, like the count plot. Okay. So you can use. Uh, so here I am having a uh, male and female, but I didn't get an exact uh, how many females in there, and how many males in there. Okay. So for that purpose, you can use like this. Okay. D F dot gender. Values count, values count. 
number of persons number of persons uh, number of persons or male and female okay so here male i assigned as a one variable female i assigned as a one variable i am getting a result of 430 and 140 okay 130 and 140 so here i am using that same count plot size so figure size here, here i am giving figure size is nothing but uh, 5 comma 5 5 comma 5 is that is we can uh, show the figure size used on like female and male like this you can show Okay. So here you can see I am giving as a y axis as a gender but before count plot I am giving x axis as a gender okay it's displaying automatically it's displaying based on x axis but here you can see I am taking it as a y axis as a gender okay so here automatically take it as a male and female okay so df is equal to data is equal to df okay so now i am running in my 3.6 environment if it is a worked correctly means i will type the code and show it to you okay so i move on to desktop webinar to okay so i just put a same code what i am typing i am just typing the, running the code okay so then this one gender okay count plot using gender uh, as a this one type of plot but here i am using an extra function that is hue hue is nothing but uh, here you can see data set equal to 1 comma 2 okay so 1 comma 2 means it's a, in a graph in top right corner you can you you can define the hue okay so in data set i have a how many rows sorry how many person will be attacked by liver disease and how many patients will be attacked by non-liver disease and then here in gender i am giving a only a gender row okay so based on the two values i am getting a output how many females with attacked and how many females with not attacked then like same thing only i am looking for male also okay so okay so in 3.6 environment it working properly so see here this is a program before i typed okay before uh, i typed so here it's working goodly only properly only so up to this i will copy the spend for you okay some issue is there in my environment so that's why i showed the uh, my pre pre but here now it's completed we can show it here also okay so up to this you can understand now so next i will be move on to uh, next uh, like training and testing but if you want if you go move on to training and testing i want to use i want to convert this what is that uh, gender column okay i want to convert this gender column into zeros and ones because algorithm will be understand only four and it is so i need to convert okay so for that purpose i am importing a from one package that is from sklearn so sklearn is the package mostly used for uh, to uh, to train the algorithm to test the algorithm it's a sklearn is the package for machine learning purpose mostly okay so you can use that package you can define the pre-processing you can call the pre-processing class in pre-processing class i am importing a label encoder okay so label encoder so label encoder is the one of the function using this function i am converting my gender column into the zeros and ones okay using this function i am converting a gender column into ones okay so after i am importing a label encoder function here i am uh, calling my label encoder function and save it in one variable okay so, so, so label encoder whole function will be saved in le variable okay le variable after i am saved in one le variable what is the main aim of my label encoder function to converting the uh, object value into zeros and ones okay so here i want to convert my object value which one that is df okay df gender okay so here what i am doing means i am creating a new column okay that is label encoder gender column 
okay so this is a new encoder column in this column only after converting my object value in after converting my object value then it will be stored in zeros and ones okay after label encoder function i will be move on to next one that is uh, i need to give that gender column to the color function that is original gender column in my data set that is for that purpose i am using le le is nothing but label and color function variable and then fit transform i need to transform that object value into uh, another one data that is another one zeros and one so here i am passing my gender okay so i am running this cell so it's runned then after running i am using uh, def dot head so get is the function to display first file so i am having a gender l column okay so after i am uh, converting my gender column that is male and female to and zeros and ones okay i don't need this column here zero represent female one represent male okay so column because i got i get a new column that is gender l okay so gender l means this one i am creating a new column and in that column i stored i stored all the data I need to uh, remove that column okay so for that purpose i am using a drop function okay so to drop is the function hit the uh, unwanted uh, columns in your data set okay so for that purpose i am using drop function okay so def dot drop then here i am passing the uh, data passing the data which one gender okay. and then axis so df dot draw uh, from df here what is the key here okay so here i am getting a male and female Otherwise, we can save it as gender. It should be overwrite. Okay. So here I am not creating a new cell. I am just overwriting a gender. Okay. So after I am doing this one, I need now my data set is ready to uh, ready to my data set is ready to uh, train the algorithm. So before we going to train the algorithm, I need to use a variable that is x comma y. Okay. So x equal to df dot i log df dot i log then df dot column that is not equal to data set. So what I am doing here means I am just I am just convert uh, taking my all the future into x variable and all the output future in y variable okay like same code only df dot i and then save it in this one okay but here i am giving not equal to data set okay so if you print that x you will be get the output like this okay x data okay then y data okay so y data so now i am separating my uh, whole data that is whole output that whole futures into an one variable and then output future will be in another one variable okay after i am converting this what i will do means i will be divide the data set into two type that is uh, training and testing for that purpose i need some function that is scalar from scalar dot uh, model selection import import train and test splitting okay train and test splitting from sql and train and test splitting using this train and test splitting i am using 
x train x train x t r a x train comma x test so i am creating a totally two variable one is x train another one is x test that is train futures will be stored in here and test futures will be stored in here next i am creating a that is y train and y test okay so y train and y test is nothing but uh, output will be stored in y train and training as uh, a testing output will be stored in y test so after that train and test splitting okay and then after i am calling the train and test splitting function after calling the train and test splitting function i am passing my two values two variables that is in x i have a data in y i have a output okay i am passing a two function after i pass an i am using test size test size test underscore size test underscore size equal to 0.2 so i already told to you if you want to train the machine learning algorithm i need to uh, train should be in more than 80 percentage or 70 percentage so here i am giving the test size is equal to 0.2 so automatically 80 percentage will be taken by as a train data okay so after i am giving this one i am running this set, test size is equal to 0 so what it will be happen means if you check the x train output see here i am getting the 80 percentage of data that is 463 rows and 11 columns that is 80% of data will be moved on to x train and that 80% of data output will be moved into y train y train here you can see the index value for example if you have in x train first row you have a 123 row for that 123 row in y train we have a output y ok so this is the uh, like same thing only in test data also we are doing x test and y test okay x are doing okay so now i divide my data set into two types okay one is x uh, train data another one is test data okay setting this train data and test data uh, what i will do means i will be importing some algorithms okay for example i am using logistic it's a simple algorithm from sql dot linear model import logistic regression okay import logistic regression then after i am importing my logistic regression algorithm same thing only i have to save this logistic regression algorithm in one variable so i am using logistic regression function and save it in one variable after you save it in one variable, I need to train that logistic regression model. Okay, so I have logistic regression model in LR. I need to train that model. To train the model, I want to use fit. So fit is the keyword to train the algorithm. Okay, so x train, uh, x train, comma y train. Y using this fit keyword, I am training my algorithm okay so after i am training my algorithm uh, here i am getting the warning symbol that is you want to change uh, one day array why warning and all is there, is there some warning is there if you want to reduce that warning if you want to not display that warning you need to use import warnings import import warnings warnings and then filter warnings okay so almost 12 o'clock next i will move on to next step okay after i am training that module i will be move on to predict that model okay so i am creating one variable we are ready predict the variable i want to predict the variable so for that purpose i am using logistic regression predict predict and then see here i am giving a train data x train and y train to my algorithm to train the algorithm okay after i am training the algorithm i have a test data that is x test and 
white test okay i want to test the data okay so for that purpose i am giving the data x test data to the algorithm and prediction okay x test that i am giving only x test but in in y test i have a output i have i have a output in y test i have a output okay but here i am giving a x test data for this x test data linear regression algorithm will be elastic regression algorithm will be give the one output okay so for example you can see here 2 2 2 like that who are the person will be attacked by heart disease or not okay it's giving some output okay and in i already told you in y test i have a original output okay original output so if i print that value also i have only a data of 2 2 2 like that okay so using this i want to predict the accuracy score means you have to use uh some packages then yes scalar dot matrix import uh accuracy score and then confusion matrix okay so i am importing accuracy score and confusion matrix i am just giving here dot values dot okay so now i'm getting confusion matrix hmm after that what i am doing means i will give the uh, prediction value to the one algorithm okay so model 1 is equal to accuracy score and then y test data and then y sorry prediction data i hope it will be work okay so okay okay so after that accuracy score i am just printing the data uh, model 1 here i am getting a accuracy score of 72% okay so that is 72% my algorithm with the output and my y test that is original output matching that is similarity okay so 72% is correct okay so if you want uh, confusion matrix that is true positive true negative value you can use like this okay so from uh, that enough cn of 2 equal to confusion matrix and then same thing only what you are passing in your accuracy score same thing only i am passing in y test and y predict okay so here i am displaying matrix confusion matrix 2 okay so this is the confusion matrix that is 76 and 8 so 76 is the uh, not attacked person 8 is the attacked person and this is the error rate of uh, after 72 in 100 out of uh 18 okay in 100 out of 18 i am getting error so 626 is the error rate okay so if you want to give any uh, graphical manner you have you can use labels uh, for example uh, this confusion matrix you can display in graphical also using c1 um, using labels uh, labels equal to i am creating here uh, 1 comma 2 okay because 1 and 2 is my output target file and sns dot heat map yes sns dot i am using here heat map okay so heat map and then i am passing that variable that is cn of 2 confusion matrix 2 and then and and it is nothing but uh, and it is nothing but it's a uh, uh what is that decimal value how how much you want to display the decimal value but here i am giving a dis i am displaying the 
displacement value it's only what it what is available in my original confusion matrix i want to display that only okay if we give an equal to 0.2 means it will be give the uh, 76.00 like that it will be give so i don't need and i am giving a color of my of my matrix so c map using c map i am giving the colors that should be in uh, yellow and then green so this is the short cut of uh, giving a uh, colors and then blue okay so sorry blue is u and after that i am using fmt fmt is nothing but uh, it's just a uh, uh, thickness uh, thickness of the data that is 0.1 f okay and then i am calling the x thick label that is i am calling uh, labels x thick labels as a uh, label i am calling my labels because i already declared the labels and then y thick label y thick label for this also i am giving as a labels okay so after that plot so plot dot so okay so i am showing that graph see here i am getting the same confusion matrix only but it's in c1 type okay using c1 i am representing the heat using c1 heat map i am giving some colors to the confusion matrix okay so true positive true negative false positive false negative okay so this is the uh, simple example how to train the algorithm and how to predict the output okay so up to this what i am doing you definitely you will understand uh, about logistic regression uh, so this is the simple thing how to train the algorithm and how to train test the algorithm but if it is an uh, any uh, data set in the form of only an uh, uh, string values that is only an paragraph type means you have to use nlp okay natural language processing okay so nlp is nothing but uh, you have to remove some unwanted uh, in your data set you have some, for example if you take a data set of fake news we have a two columns totally one is news column another one is uh, label column that is fake news or real news okay you need to convert that news column into an machine readable means we have to use nlp natural language processing using natural language processing i am removing some unwanted uh, columns unwanted uh, symbols and then i will uh, create a new data after creating a new data i will use vectorizer vectorizer is the one type of function is available in sql and uh, using this vectorizer i will convert my data set into an um, algorithm understandable okay so like this if it is a data uh, set in the form of text type means you have to use nlp extra and vectorizer also extra but if it is a um, not in text type this is the basic steps uh, to develop a code machine learning code okay so i hope this session will be uh, most worthful to you and uh, sriyas college of engineering and technology uh, so thank you to all uh, thank you one and all and then if you need even any more uh, you can subscribe our youtube channel if you need e even any more youtube videos or webinar videos based on iot embedded system or any other uh, any other domain definitely daily we will post uh, more number of videos a more number of webinars if you subscribe our channel and like put a like button it will be my very useful to us and uh, and also it will be give some boost up to us to give like more uh, videos like this okay so thank you to one and all uh, if you need any queries you can uh, comment in your comment box and uh, about feedback certificate also we will uh, pin it on Uh, comment box itself okay if you need feed, feedback certificate the we pinned the link of feedback certificate in comment section you just click that link and enter into your feedback form uh, data and hope everyone will be safe uh, thank you thank you to one and all uh, 
is signing off from Kamalesh. Next video we can see. Bye. Have a nice day.